Hey folks! Instead of doing what I was going to do this week, uh, which was another video on chord theory to follow up on what we did last time, uh, I'm going to break it up a little bit and throw a little bit of uh, uh, techniques into the mixture so we're not just doing theory, 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 because that bores like half of you, I'm certain of it. Um, so we're going to take a look at a cool little tapping idea, uh, and I'm going to show you a riff that you can try, uh, and hopefully you can come up with some of your own riffs uh, to improve your tapping technique. Um, a cool, uh, you know, we're going to talk about two things, two cool things, um, uh, using uh, tapping and picking, you know, picking and tapping all at the same time, uh, and tapping and sliding. Um, so this kind of, you know, hammering technique can be really useful uh, in some of your playing, and you can achieve melodies that you can't do otherwise. Um, so let's get started with the first one, uh, a little tap and slide kind of deal. Uh, the first riff is going to be in G major. Um, so what I'm going to do here, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to apologize in advance uh, for the way uh, my guitar is sound on these videos. It has, uh, I went back and listened to some of it, it sounds kind of funky. Uh, it has nothing to do with my tone or, you know, what I'm actually playing here. There's some kind of a noise suppressor or compression or something on the microphone here, and I can't figure out how to turn it off. Um, so it, it's going to make things sound kind of weird, but at least you'll be able to hear it. So um, nothing I can do about that, so, you know, just deal with it, I guess. All right, so G major. Um, in this little tapping riff. What I'm going to do, um, I don't know if I discussed this in the tapping video that I did uh, a while back, um, but I like to hold the pick like normal and, you know, develop these two fingers um, with tapping because, you know, that way, you know, a lot of people like to use this finger when tapping, and that's fine, but what you have to do is then you have to put the pick in between your fingers like that and then, you know, fiddle around with it to get it back into normal pick holding position. Uh, I don't like to do that. It takes up too much time for me. Um, you know, the other thing, you know, doing that and I don't, I don't want to do that. I like to be able to have the pick ready to go back into, you know, normal picking or whatever. Um, okay, so here's the first riff uh, using tapping and sliding. Um, Alright, so if we break that down, it's very simple. You just uh, hammer or tap, whatever you want to call it, right there on the 11th fret on the G string. It's an F sharp. You're going to pull off to a D, 7th fret, pull off to a C, 5th uh, fret, pull off to a B on the 4th fret, hammer back up the scale, and then slide up to the 12th fret, back to the 11th. You'll practice it real slow and clean. You know, if you just practice it, you know, fast and sloppy, it's just going to end up sounding like that. All right, the next part's a little bit tricky, but um, switching strings, and now we're going to a different, a different position. We're going to tap right there uh, on the ninth fret. It's a B. Pull off to an A, and then pull off to a G, and then pull off to an F sharp. Hammer back up, just like you did, uh, we did before on the other string. Slide uh, up to the uh, eighth, uh, tenth fret, and back to the ninth. And the same thing, slow. Uh, and what you're going to notice after a while, this is going to hurt because, you know, since you're fretting, fretting notes, if you're not used to this tapping thing, uh, you got to develop some calluses on this finger too. So, um, uh, kind of a cool little riff, uh, and, you know, you can apply that anywhere. And, and you don't have to do these half-step slides. You can do full, uh, full step slides. You know, they're a little bit harder to do. But again, just practice it real slow, and you know that's how you get fast. It's slow, um, slow and deliberate. All right, here's one that, that I'm still working on. It's um, uh, you know so uh, hey, I have no shame. I'm going to show you something I'm working on. It's not perfect yet, but you know I'm going to show you anyway because I don't care, right? So um, it's the idea of picking, um, you know, while tapping. You know, having the picker. This is why I like to hold the pick like this so I can use it. Um, so it's like this. Uh, this little riff. Uh, So we're kind of using the pick along with the tap. So you start out with a pick, hammer from the 7th to the 8th fret on the B string. So you pick that first note, and then pick up on the 7th uh, fret here, and then hammer to the 10th fret. 
and then a hammer right there on the uh, the F sharp. Pull off back down to 10 and 7, and then hammer on the 14th fret C sharp on the B string, and then you pull off to the 7th fret and just continue. So every time I'm picking on that, I'll, I'll pick first to get the riff started, but every other time I'll pull off to that note instead of picking it. But I'll always pick up on that first string note. No, it's kind of hard. So you got you got to work on it slow. Now, if you're feeling really adventurous, you can move this around. So something like this. Something like that. So let's see. Yeah, let's slow it down. So I'm just changing the keys. I'm going from like a G riff up to an A riff. I'm just bringing the whole thing up a whole step. All right, so I still don't have it clean yet, but you know that's the idea. It's a cool little riff, so you know, give it a give it a shot. See if you can get better at it quicker than I can. All right, let's take that same riff and add a little slide to the tap. Um, so here's the the riff really slow. Um, you know, in the same key uh, in G. All right, so working on it real slow, it can be kind of tough to, you know, pick here and, and tap because the, um, you know, you might hit the end up hitting the fretboard with your pick. Uh, so that's worth practicing right there. Just So I'm doing, you know, I start out with a pick, hammer from 7 to 8, and then pick up, hammer from 7 to 10, hammer here on the 14th, and slide up to the 15th, back to the 14th. Pull off to the 7th, uh, the 10th, and then the 7th then hammer onto the 8th and start the riff over. You can do the same thing, you can move that around. So that can be kind of fun and, and you know, you, you know, try it all over the neck and try different frets, you know, try spaced out. Going up to a really high note versus these low notes. So there are a million different possibilities you can do with these riffs, and you can come up with some really cool stuff. So try these tips with tapping and see what you can come up with. We'll see you next time.